Hey math teachers, in this video we're going to talk about how to create a delta math assignment. There's a couple different ways to do it and I want to give you all the ins and outs in this video right now. For more content like this, like, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Alright, so when you're on the delta math homepage, when you open it up, you go to create a standard assignment. All right, you can name it however you would like to and select the class periods that you would like for this assignment to go in. Now, posting is something that I think saves a lot of time and you want to check out and to make the best decision for you and your class. You can post it immediately, later, or at a specific time. If you post it later, basically all it does is it stores it for you and you have to go back and manually assign when you want it to show up for your students. So you could create create it and then go back and use it whenever you need to. However, if you know the specific time in the future you want it to post, you can go ahead and post it for a specific time and you can pick the date and the time that it will post for your students. All right, let's talk about skills. This is where it can get a little tricky if you don't know the ins and outs, so I want to slow down just a minute and give you some details here. All right, so there are two types of problems. There's just the regular problems, and then there are mixed, uh, or they're timed problems. Excuse me, timed problems. So mental math has a lot of the timed problems. If you'll notice, the timed problems have a little clock icon beside them, and the regular problems just have the plus sign. So there's a difference there in the types of problems that you can give your students. Timed, I really like using the time. The only thing with the timed, all right, so when you add a timed assignment, all right, they have a time limit and they have to get this many in a row correct, all right, consecutively in the given amount of time. But the cool new feature is that you can stagger it. So if you wanted to give them, you know, a few minutes to do it the first time to get 100%, you could add and give them a little bit extra time and go all the way down as far as you want. I normally, you know, stagger it and go all the way to 70 uh, just to give them extra time because I don't want them to, you know, get the, to the 300 seconds and have to start over and hopefully they can start building that. Even if they only get 70% the first time, they can go from there. All right, regular questions though, uh, the way that those work is you can add how many they just have to get correct. Now, if you want them to go back to zero, you can make them get five in a row correct, but there's no time limit here. And, and Delta Math will show you when, you when your students are working how many in these types of problems that they got right and how many they got wrong. It will not do that in timed assignments. Now, you can also assign a penalty, all right? So if they miss one, if they had three correct or four correct and miss one, all right, well, they, now they get one taken away. And it goes backwards that way you know I love putting that on there when I'm when I really like the math assignments uh, to challenge them so that some of them are multiple choice and so kids your kids that want to get out of work will just sit there and click and click and click and click and click until they get five right or three right or four right if you put a penalty in there it makes them have to focus a little bit more because the chances of them getting that grows a little bit. And we all know that because we're math teachers. I'd like to pause for just a second and let you know about the t-shirt, coffee mug, mouse pad, item shop that we have here for math teachers and teachers of all kinds. Right now we only have math t-shirts, but we're working on that as we go. If you have a t-shirt suggestion that you don't see on our list in our item shop and you would love to see it in there, please send me an email or put it in the Google form in the description down below. This is a great way to help me support the channel so I can keep bringing you awesome videos for your educational needs. All right, so now the other thing that I really like, all right, so you can add these assignments again and it'll kind of give them in this order and it'll make them get five of these right and then five of these and it gives them you know, it gives them to them. It gives it to the students in kind of a, a split format. Uh, but if you com you can combine them into one assignment, where Delta Math will scramble them up for you, which I really like. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these, 
and what you want to do is you want to click a mixed problem all right and then you can kind of title it this will be kind of what it pops up as under the blue heading uh, for your students all right and what you can do is however many that you want them to get correct in the entire thing your assignment um, is how many you want to put there and you can tweak it and change it as you go but let's say that we wanted to put one step equations with decimals and with whole numbers and we wanted let's just say we wanted them to do all four of these things all right so let's put something that's divisible by four all right and I could make them get three a piece of these and what it would do is it would post them in bulk all right and you can change you know how many attempts they get to try uh, how many you know if they can get an example or not and you can weight them so if you wanted them to be worth more points you could do that as well and I really like this because it will scramble them up and it will you know once they get three of these correct it'll quit giving them those types of questions and just focus on the other three and I really really like that it helps my students a lot since I've been using it so it's been great for those things all right now due dates you have to put a due date on here so if you're if you really don't want a due date I just post it you know give them a month or something or you can just put it at the end of school if you'd like to do that as well uh, and you can switch a.m. or p.m. and then you if you're one that wants them to turn it in on a specific date but you also want to add a late date, you can do that and it per uh, it'll go ahead and calculate the percentage as far as you know what credit they get on that so that's really awesome especially you know if you got older kids and you're trying to make them stick to a certain schedule and due date I think that's great all right so last thing is I want you to look you know if you want to go to your student data you can view assignments I have students in here so I don't want to you know do that right now because uh, I have my actual students in this class but you can see breakdowns of exactly you know how many problems they've done when's the last time they logged in so that's great track of all of your assignments uh, in Delta math so that's great it's wonderful we you know I enjoy using Delta math so if you like this video and you want to see more stuff about Delta math any of these topics that you'd like to see there's a Google form down below you can send suggestions and ask questions and ask for help and I'll add it to my list or just shoot me an email that would be great too I'd be glad to help in any way. Stick around uh, for more teacher tips at the end of this video and hit the big round icon in the bottom left hand corner to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any videos about your educational needs and math needs as a math teacher. Happy teaching, good luck this year, and I will see you later.